Hi, my name is Kelly Kim and I am a PR manager at Olix Pharmaceuticals. Today I'm here to briefly talk about our company. Olix Pharmaceuticals is a biotech that develops novel therapeutics based on proprietary RNAi technology. We are based in Suwon, South Korea with about 74 employees and 53 of them are concentrating in R&D. Our company was founded by Dong Lee in 2010 and we got listed on Kostec in 2018. Our overseas subsidiaries are located in Boston and San Diego. Developing new therapeutics requires experts from various fields. Olex comprises in-house expertise covering from R&D to commercialization, along with an excellent scientific advisory board members. So let me move on to talk about our core technology. So what exactly is RNA interference? As you know, DNA makes RNA makes protein. And if the produ produced protein makes a disease or it has a problem, it can cause a disease. And the first, second first and second generation drugs inhibit the activities of these produced proteins. However, our generation, the third generation oligonucleotide drugs inhibit protein synthesis itself by cleaving the mRNA using oligonucleotides such as siRNA. As you can see, 85% of the uh, disease-causing proteins are not targetable by first and second generation drugs. And it takes about three to five years to identify potential drug candidates. However, with our third generation drug technology, it becomes possible to theoretically silence all disease-causing genes. That is why the uh, RNAi technology is the most powerful oligonucleotide technology. Through its catalytic process, it becomes possible to effectively cleave mRNA and silence the disease-causing genes. But there are some limitations of existing RNAi technology. First, side effects. Second, delivery issues. So in order to uh, overcome these limitations, Olix has successfully dis um, developed an asymmetric siRNA platform technology. As you can see in the red box, we have different numbers of oligo uh, nucleotides in sense and antisense strands. And this um, reduces the off-target effects as well as other side effects. Patent is granted for this structure in Korea and other countries. Furthermore, we have developed cell-penetrating asymmetric siRNA platform to uh, overcome the delivery issues. By adding the lipophilic moiety, we have add, uh, by adding the lipophilic moiety, we have um, successfully uh, delivered the structure all the way to cytoplasm by penetrating the cell membrane. Right now, in RNA market, um, a lot of companies are targeting the liver targeted uh, liver diseases. Olix has also securely, uh, secured the asymmetric Galnet platform for liver targeted delivery and are actively finding uh, targets for liver uh, related diseases. So how is Olix's platform technology so exceptional? In order to uh, select the drug, potential drug substance, we can simply change the sequence in antisense strand, which reduces the selection time for drug candidates drug candidates drastically from three years to three months. With this time allowance, multiple pipelines can be expanded with reduced cost and flexible business strategies were became possible, such as early stage licensing. So here is our pipeline overview ranging from skin, eye to liver. I'm going to be talking about our core programs first on hypertrophic scar, Olix 101A. Hypertrophic scar and keloid scars are skin abnormalities caused by injury and surgery. And right now there are no uh, current treatments in the market. So Olix decided to target CTGF, a major protein that um, promotes the fibrosis in our cells. And we have verified the effective suppression in animal models. The pipeline is right now in phase two clinical trial in Korea, and in the US, IND is getting filed very soon. 
Next up is our ophthalmic program, OLEX 31A and 31D, related to age-related macular degeneration. There are two types of AMD, wet and dry. And there is a drug developed for wet AMD, but for a dry AMD and subretinal fibrosis, which is caused by wet AMD, there are no drugs available at the market. So we have, um, we are developing the first in-class drug for both wet and dry AMD, AMD simultaneously and verify the efficacy in the mouse and NHP models. For our eye program, an ophthalmic company located in France called BIA showed high interest and we have signed the out licensing agreement with them back in March 2019. The total volume was about 63 million euros, patent covering from EU, MEA to Africa. We're also developing a drug for both subretinal fibrosis and wet AMD and verify the efficacy as well using the same protein. Next, for our pulmonary area, we are targeting idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is a fatal disease that leads to death within three to five years after diagnosis. Uh, with IPF, we have successfully suppressed the target gene expression and we've seen effective suppression of fibrosis as well. And the research was done with the agency in Singapore. Up next is the hot new issue, COVID-19. With using our CPASI RNA platform technology, we have successfully identified the lead candidates and um, verified the efficacy in cells and assays. So now we are moving on to animal efficacy testing and we, have verified, we are waiting for the results to come out. Last but not least, for liver diseases, we, with our um, own proprietary Galnet platform technology, we are actively um, discovering the lead compounds for targets suggested by our liver experts at Harvard. And we have recently signed the R&D um, supply contract with a biotech company in Europe. We're currently testing and developing lead candidates for four different liver targets that are requested upon the party. And if we do identify the targets, we are going to move on to actually licensing out the targets. So that is all for our company summary. I'd like to thank you very much for listening to my speech. Thank you.